What is going on guys? Welcome to another unboxing where here we have a teeny tiny little box in front of us that has a battery warning on it. What oh what could it be? You probably already know from the title of this video, but that's okay. This is not a proper unboxing knife. This is actually from my friend Susie. It's engraved with my name, so I can't commit crime with it because that would just be silly. Doing a lovely job. Here we have the DJI Osmo Action. Now I know a lot of people have already reviewed this camera, including my sister, which I didn't actually get to play with it while she had it, but I had to purchase it and wait for it to be delivered and I'm really excited. The action camera that I'm using right now is the GoPro Hero 7. I also use the RX Zero Mark II for a lot of different things. Not so much for the action stuff because it isn't an action camera, but it is small and I do use it for a lot of things. But the Osmo Action is in fact an action camera and I cannot wait to see how it compares to other action cameras. Does that even do anything? I don't know. I also went ahead and got the 128 gig micro SD card because guess who's always losing micro SD cards? <gasps> Look at it, it's so little! It's really cute. What else do you have in here? Probably cords. You know what I don't need? More technology. But do you know what I always want? More technology. Comes with some little mounting rigs. I love this because I use the GoPro accessories with basically everything. So I love that I can also still use this with GoPro accessories because I have a ton of them. It's very sturdy, which is good because I am a reckless human being. So here we have the power button. Oh my gosh, that sounded like the news. Activate with DJI Mimo. First impressions, the screen is really, really big, which I really like. And I'm also really interested in this because it has a front facing screen. The GoPro, I'm like, I don't know what is happening. I can't see anything. And the GoPro interface absolutely drives me insane. So right off the bat, I am actually a big fan of this interface. I like that it can do slow-mo up to eight times slow motion. It can also do HDR. It can do time lapses. You know I love my time lapses. You can do photos, you can do raw images as well. And you can do rock steady, so I'm really interested to see how the rock steady holds up on this. Stabilization is always a huge thing. I hate having to do stabilization in post because sometimes it's just not great. So having the stabilization built into this and the rock steady is gonna be incredible. That's what we've got there. I should probably put the SD card in. Why won't you come out of your shell? Oh no. And that my friends is how we lose micro SD cards. I'm really excited to finally have hands on with the DJI Osmo action. Let's go test this baby out in the real world. have the Osmo action mounted to the bike. So we're gonna be testing out the normal video as well as the rock steady. Gonna go for a bike ride. Gonna go meet my friend Alex and we're just gonna ride around. I tried to do this earlier and there was a lightning storm. So I waited until it was over. Let's go uh, ride the bike. All right, we have the rock steady on and we are going for a bike ride on Ocean Avenue. Hi Alex, say hi. Hello. Oh gosh. Oh, you're you <laughs> blocking me. You're blocking, no, you need to see this. Okay, here we go. Rock steady, don't let me down. It's a bumpy one. I'm excited for when it's 100 degrees and we can uh, ride bikes. That'd be nice. I'm not freezing. Okay, we turned off rock steady and we're gonna keep cruising. That guy was rollerblading backwards. When I personally was watching reviews and people comparing it to the GoPro Hero 7, some of it was really kind of hard to tell which was better. And I decided that I wanted to make a decision for myself. We're gonna do the test of the Osmo action camera compared to the GoPro Hero 7. Let's go for a hike. 
So here is the rig that we're gonna be taking out. Let's go see uh, what we think. We are shooting in 4K, 30 frames per second. And I'm already tired. How do we look? Now we're backlit. That's the real question. This is still 4K 30 frames, but now on the Osmo, we have on the HDR. There's a pup coming up. We also do not have the Rock Steady on, and this is just the normal stabilization in the GoPro. I have not added anything in post, so this is a true test of how it's handling it. I am moving. I gotta, I gotta go before it gets pitch black out. Maybe I should run downhill so I'm not trying to exert myself too much. I have so many things in my pocket. Water. I have chapstick. I have two pieces of gum. There's another pup coming. Hold that thought. There's a pup. We gotta head back before it's too dark. This is the rock steady on the Osmo, and this is still the auto stabilization on the GoPro. Now, normally, like when I'm vlogging, I'm bouncing around and I'm like, why didn't I just stand still? Why was I moving and talking? And it really drives me crazy because it's really not stable, and sometimes the post editing is not stable. So, I am curious to see how me just walking on a hike, bouncing around, I am bouncing. All right, the true test. Let's go for a little jog, shall we? Oh. Okay, I have way too many things in my pocket for a jog. Hey, my pants are falling down. This is going well. Okay, I gotta stop running. Everything's falling off and falling down. So my past week with the Osmo Action, I will say that I am extremely impressed. The bike shot with the Rocksteady on compared to when the Rocksteady was off, I was absolutely mind blown by how stable it was compared to when that feature was off. The comparison with the GoPro, I will say I personally prefer this over the GoPro. I prefer the interface. The battery seemed to be a little bit longer. The GoPro stabilization was pretty good, but the rock steady feature was just absolutely incredible. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not sure if the audio is my favorite though. Sometimes it sounded better and sometimes it didn't sound better, which kind of the same for the video quality. Sometimes it looked better and sometimes the GoPro Pro looked better. But I think overall, if I was to take a GoPro or the Osmo, and I could only take one with me, I would probably take the Osmo. Because since you can control your settings manually, I wanted to do a long exposure shot over the bridge in Santa Monica over the PCH. So as you guys can see here, you can control the settings manually. So I set the ISO to 100, I did a shutter speed of eight seconds, and this was the shot that came out of that. I'm gonna try to get the shot. Now, without getting the fence in my way, I'm gonna have to do something frowned upon. I've always wanted to do that shot using like my mirrorless or a bigger camera. I never have. And when I had this, I was like, this is the perfect time to test if it will actually work. What is the quality gonna be like? I was blown away. I wanna go back and do a long exposure time lapse of that. I think it would be really cool. I didn't have enough time then, but I was actually really, really impressed that this tiny little camera got that shot. I will say that the interface is much more friendly to use than GoPro, personal opinion. I also love this button right here, the quick switch. You can quick switch between anything that you want to have on here. So on here I have video, HDR, slow motion, time lapse, and photo. Another really great feature that I think I should have talked about, double tap. We are now on the front facing screen. It took me a while to figure out what the commands were, so I had to go into settings to kind of see what I was supposed to be saying. So voice control, make sure you turn that on. You can see the command list. We have start recording, stop recording, take photo, screen switch, and shut down. Shut down. It did it. It listened to me. 
So the voice control is actually really cool. So like I said, you guys, this was just a quick overview of my week with the Osmo Action. I realize I'm very late. I did order it and the day it came, I did an unboxing and then I've just kind of been just by kind of been sitting on it for a little bit. And every time I would go somewhere, I would throw it in my bag. But anyway, I really am highly impressed with this. Like I said, if I were to take the GoPro or the Osmo, I can only take one. I think I'm gonna take the Osmo. It's also waterproof up to 11 meters, which is really great. I didn't have a chance to uh, take it underwater, but I am going somewhere where we are 100% taking this underwater, and I'm very excited for that. So thank you guys so much for watching. There is a link in the description if you want to purchase one. Let me know what you think. Is it a GoPro killer? Are you GoPro fanboy? Are you something else? Do you care? Are you team DJI? Let me know what you guys think, and thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe, and I will see you again very soon. Bye.